Hello, and welcome to this talk. The title of this talk is A Tour Feature, a fast and fully featured terminal emulator inside GNU Emacs. So let's try to understand what we mean with a fast and fully featured. And to do that, we'll compare Vtor with the packages which are built in Emacs, meaning the term. So let's, let's jump into the Vtor. So this is a Vtor buffer, and this is an ANSI term buffer. What I'm going to do now is first I'm going to prove you what we mean with fast. So to do that, let me open a large file, display on screen a large file. This is about one megabyte of data, and let me time that. It takes about 0.6 seconds with Vtor. Let's do the same with with ANSI term. Well, we already we already see the difference. So I will use this time to tell you what's the difference and what, what is Vtorm exactly. So Vtorm is a terminal emulator built on top of an external library. The library is called libvtorm and is the same library used by NeoVim for their own terminal emulator. It's a C library and this is what gives us a lot of good features. First, the speed. The time spent here, 0.6, is essentially the time that it takes to one, convert the Emacs representation of like text into the Vtorm representation of what's a string, and two, and to actually display that. And that can take time if there's a if there's fontification involved. So these are the 0.6 seconds there. And as we say in v in Ancetor, that's much, much more time, it's much slower. So the terminal will feel much snappier, much faster. But that's not the main benefit or the only benefit of using this external library, the Vtor. The second big benefit is that Vtorm has support for all the escape codes that Xterm has support for. So Vtorm is essentially as running Xterm inside an Emacs buffer. So let's see that. Let's, for example, let's start by looking at the support for colors. We have support for all the colors out of the box. We don't have to do anything. And if we did the same here, well, we have only 20 colors. There's a way to, to get all the colors, but it's much more involved. But this is not where Vtorm shines. Uh, we can run all the commands that, that we want. htop, ncdu, everything runs here. Also, this title, it's a it's a fairly complicated manipulation of the window, and it will not work here. It just doesn't work. Actually, now the terminal is probably messed up here. Yes. So using this external library removes the burden from the developers of having to implement support for all these escape codes, we just use those. So in many ways, running Vtorm is as running Xterm inside Emacs, but it's better than that, because since this is an Emacs buffer, we can enjoy a lot of features from Emacs, as well as a tighter integration with uh, Emacs itself. For example, as you see here, the title of my buffer is uh, from the directory I'm in. So let's go to my TMP, the title will change. So uh, there's information being exchanged between Vtorm and Emacs. And of course, the title is not the only place where information is exchanged. I can uh, find a file and I will be in the directory where my terminal is. This feature is also available in ANSI term and it works also in Vtorm and it follows me. So if I go to TMP, I'll be in the TMP. If I SSH to a remote server, it will work also on remote servers as well, which is a very nice way to edit files remotely while we're working on a shell. And second, while Vtorm is not an ELISP interpreter like eShell, what we can do is we can uh, still uh, run uh, Emacs functions. So for example, that requires some configuration, Vtorm command, message i, as you see there's a high here. So what I'm doing is I'm executing the ELISP function i, and I can wrap that into a round uh, bash function to run alias functions, or another one, find file, same. We call this feature message passing, and it requires some configuration on the Emacs side as well as on the shell side. It's important to stress what's the nature of feature. For instance, every time I'm sending a, a key binding, it's not immediately clear if my intention is to send it to the shell or to Emacs. So Vtorm implements some reasonable defaults, but at the moment, it's mainly package to display characters on a screen. So for example, if you're using evil, the editing commands in evil will not work immediately. There's some work to be done. 
and integration can be improved on that side. But sometimes we really want this to behave exactly like a Emacs buffer. We want to be able to search. If we, if I, like, if I try to get it to search, it will not work. I will send it to the shell. So to do that, we enable the term copy mode. So as you see, copy mode. And now this buffer is essentially a fundamental buffer. I can move around as I can search. Uh, so Emacs conf. I can do everything I want, and there are additional features. For example, I can jump around the all the prompts, and I find this extremely useful because I can copy up to from my programs. Or what I always have to do is I have to Google some errors. So what I do is I select that and add my key binding, emacsconf, and bam, I'm googling what I have to Google. So this is very nice, and if I now that I have selected something, if I just press return, I will go back to my normal editing mode with the text copied so I can paste it back. So it's a quick way to interact with copy and interact with, uh, with the output of a buffer. So finally, let's discuss how to actually use the term. Let's circle back and let's go and let's look at the GitHub repo where development is happening. Vterm is available in Melpa, but since it's leveraging the power of an external module, you must have Emacs compiled with support for modules. And many distros like Ubuntu, uh, Debian, uh, that's not there. So you have to get Emacs with support for modules compiling or getting Emacs somewhere else. And also the first time you are going to use this, which works only on Mac or uh, GNU Linux systems, Emacs will try to find and compile this module. So it's important, this requirement is important if you're using Windows. Well, that's not, it's not available and it will not work. So to conclude, I want to just advertise this page. If you have problems, look at the issues and open a new issue in case. We'll try to help you. We are very excited about Vterm and I think it's a transformative terminal experience inside GNU Emacs.